figure, McKay. I don't know why you thought you had to come say goodbye. Goodbye that I have in mind will take a little more room than we have in here. Charlton Heston's 10 Most Popular Movies A favourite actor of mine, growing up he was a great role model for a boy. The Many Faces of Heston, one of the most prolific and popular actors of all time. From westerns to science fiction and many other genres, it's hard to know where to start. Today I have used IMDb as a guide to his most popular movies. Of course, we all have our own opinion and favourites. So let's say this is a guide, not my own opinions. I will always tell you if a list is my own opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoy this video, hit the notification button to get my new videos. If you want to check out my many other videos, head over to my channel. The link is in the description. Like, share and subscribe. You know the drill. Let's get into it. Ben-Hur, 1959, as Judah Ben-Hur, 8.1, director William Wyler. A Jewish prince is betrayed and sent into slavery by a Roman friend in first century Jerusalem, but it's not long before he regains his freedom and comes back for revenge. The only Hollywood film to make the Vatican approved film list in the category of religion. The production cost MGM a massive $15 million and was a gamble by the studio to save itself from bankruptcy. The gamble paid off with the film earning $75 million. Stars Charlton Heston, Jack Hawkins and Stephen Boyd. If you stay here, you will find yourself part of this tragedy. I am already part of this tragedy. The day. Planets of the Apes, 1968, as George Taylor, 8.0, director Franklin J. Schaffner. After being kept in hypersleep during a long expedition into deep space, an astronaut crew crash lands in the 40th century on a planet where highly intelligent non-human ape species are dominant and humans are enslaved. At one of the first screenings, a woman walked up to Charlton Heston and asked how he was doing. Heston had no clue who she was until she revealed that she was Kim Hunter, Zira. He did not recognise her because he had not previously seen her without ape makeup. Stars Charlton Heston, Roddy McDowell, and Kim Hunter. On the brain. And a kind of living death. <laughs> Touch of Evil, 1958, as Mike Vargas, 8.0, director Orson Welles. A Mexican official and his American wife are targeted in a Texas border town by the crime family he's trying to put behind bars for drug trafficking. As his concern grows over the tactics of the local detective whose cooperation is needed. Orson Welles was originally hired only to act in the film, but due to a misunderstanding, Charlton Heston thought that Welles was to be the director. To keep Heston happy, producer Albert Zugsmith allowed Wells to direct. Stars Charlton Heston, Orson Wells, and Janet Lee. Any trouble with me? You bet your sweet life. The Ten Commandments, 1956, as Moses, 7.9, director Cecil B. DeMille. Moses, raised as a prince in Egypt in the Pharaoh's household, learns of his true heritage as a Hebrew and his divine mission as the deliverer of his people from slavery. Cecil B. DeMille picked Charlton Heston for the role of Moses 
because he bore a resemblance to Michelangelo's statue of Moses in Rome, Italy. Heston played Michelangelo in The Agony and the Ecstasy, 1965. Stars Charlton Heston, Yul Brenner and Anne Baxter. They shall die under my chariot wheels. So let it be written, so let it be done. Behold his mighty hand. Those who will not live by the law shall die by the law. The Big Country, 1958, as Steve Leach, 7.9. Director, William Wyler. A New England sea captain in the 1880s arrives at his fiancée's sprawling Texas ranch, where he becomes embroiled in a feud between two families over a valuable patch of land. Then, US President Dwight D. Eisenhower gave the movie four consecutive showings at the White House and called it simply the best film ever made, my number one favourite film. Stars Gregory Peck, Gene Simmons, and Carol Baker. Okay. I don't know why you thought you had to come say goodbye. Goodbye that I have in mind will take a little more room than we have in here. Charlton Heston, in his biggest role since the Ten Commandments, as the ruthless ranch foreman. I knew exactly where I was all the time. You're a damn liar. Well, it's a fright you're looking for. The Agony and the Ecstasy, 1965, as Michelangelo, 7.2. Director, Carol Reed. The biographical story of Michelangelo's troubles while painting the Sistine Chapel at the urging of Pope Julius II. Charlton Heston inserted a small length of narrow clay piping in his nose to make it more resemble Michelangelo Bunarotti's broken one. Heston's nose actually had been broken years before, but he thought it insufficiently crooked for the role. But Sir Rex Harrison steadfastly refused to grow a beard, even though the real-life Julius II had one during a short period of his papacy stars Charlton Heston, Rex Harrison, and Diane Salento. You know, Michelangelo, you smell. Heston as Michelangelo, the artist who did not want to paint to escape his destiny. Have you seen Michelangelo? I hear you correctly. Will not? Yes. I'll destroy it first with my own hands. El Cid, 1961, as El Cid Rodrigo de Viva, 7.2, director Anthony Mann. The fabled Spanish hero Rodrigo Diaz de Viva, a.k.a. El Cid overcomes a family vendetta and court intrigue to defend Christian Spain against the Moors. Charlton Heston was the first and only choice of the producers. Heston and Sophia Loren reportedly got off on the wrong foot early in filming, which set a bad tone for their working relationship for the rest of the shoot. Heston later said he regretted the way he behaved towards Loren during filming, feeling in retrospect that he had been unprofessional and unfair to her and wished he could be kinder and less stubborn towards her. Stars Charlton Heston, Sophia Loren, and Raph Fallon. Tell me you don't love me. A man who knew the warmth of happiness and love. And yet before his fearless integrity, even the king was humbled. Do you swear that you had no part by way of design in King Sancho's death? I swear it! If you are forsworn, May you die such a death as your brother did, struck from behind by the hand of a traitor. Say amen. You press me too far, Rodrigo. Say amen. 
Would you take me with you? But now I have nowhere to take you. I love you, Rodrigo. Will Penny, 1967, as Will Penny, 7.1. Director, Tom Grise. Aging cowboy, Will Penny gets a line camp job on a large cattle spread and finds his isolated cabin is already occupied by an abandoned woman traveller and her young son. The hat that Charlton Heston wore here, and in about four other westerns, was a treasured item of his. It was later stolen. Heston often said of all his films he made, this was his favourite. Stars Charlton Heston, Joan Hackett and Donald Pleasance. Who made it their own. Ain't no need for you to tell us them lies. Uh, son, you dealt this hand. I guess you'll just have to play it out. All of you. All of you. Any eyeballing done around here, I'll Vicious do it. men. That's him, all right. He ain't going nowhere we can find him. And we just gonna take our own good time about carving him up. Until he met a woman and a boy, both as lonely. Don't come any nearer. This thing may go off. How many people have you shot? Well, I guess there was a few times. How did it feel? Bad. Bad scared before and bad sorry after. You got a, a way of making a man feel like he's a man. Reckon it's just a case of too soon old and too late smart. Look at him. You'd never know he could love just as hard as he could hate. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Will heats up slow, but when he gets there, he's hell with a hide off. Soylent Green, 1973, as Detective Thorne, 7.0, director Richard Fleischer, a nightmarish futuristic fantasy about the controlling power of big corporations and an innocent cop who stumbles on the truth. The scene where Thorne and Roth share a meal of fresh food was not originally in the script, but it was ad-libbed by Charlton Heston and Edward G. Robinson at the director Richard Fleischer's request. Stars Charlton Heston, Edward G. Robinson, and Lee Taylor Young. I didn't. Cheryl. I see your hands. Officially, she's furniture. She comes with the apartment. She belongs to the tenant. How many times you've been in trouble with the police, Cheryl? Never. Can't hear you. Never. Captain Hatcher. First, he wanted this case solved. Simonson. What do you say? It was an assassination. Now, he just wants it closed. Who bought you? High and hot, and they want this case closed permanently. Their way, now you sign this. You sign it! Fight for survival and try to solve the most bizarre riddle ever to face mankind. The search for the secret of Soylent Green. You will find out why Soylent Green means life. You will find out why Soylent Green means death. We've got to stop him! Midway, 1976, 6.8, as Captain Matt Garth, director Jack Smite, a dramatization of the battle that was widely heralded as a turning point of the Pacific Theatre of World War II. Henry Fonda, Charlton Heston, Glenn Ford, Hal Holbrook, Cliff Robinson, Robert Webber, screenwriter Donald S. Sanford, and director Jack Smite 
were all war veterans. Stars Charlton Heston, Henry Fonda, and James Coburn. Our three carriers and their escorts are all the sands between the enemy fleet and the American coastline. Edward Albert is Lieutenant Tom Guard. Dad, I've fallen in love with a Japanese girl. Six months after Pearl Harbor, boy, you have one lousy sense of timing. Damn it, I'm an American. What makes us different from German Americans or Italian Americans? Pearl Harbor, I guess. All right. Well, gentlemen, it started. Signal Spruance. This is the personal story. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate your likes and subscribers. Hit the notification button to get my new videos. Take a look at my channel and check my Facebook page. The links are in the description. I am Wrangler. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.